Hi guys, Lex Sales here, another fragrance video. Now I'll be doing my usual two videos in one day, but today will be very special. I'll be covering two colognes from the same house. And these colognes in particular are brothers. One being the big brother, the other one being the newer, younger, little brother. And that is the Lapidus Brothers right here. Lapidus Poor Rome, the original, and Lapidus Black Extreme, the 25th anniversary version. So this came out in 1987, this came out in 2012. So we'll be talking about these two and how they compare. I've had a lot of questions about this one, so I'll be doing this one and then this one straight after. So I'll have them both on my wrist to compare them there and then. So this should be quite interesting. I hope you guys enjoy this video. So yeah, get comfy, you know. <coughs> and uh, yeah, let's get started. So this is Lapidus Poor Rome. This came out in 1987. This is the big brother, the one that started it all. Now, this gets a lot of love. I've noticed that many people mention this in the top 10s and top 20s and collection pictures I've seen on Fagan's Gary Nation and other pages. This is normally hanging around there and most of them. Now, it's not, it may be cheap priced. I mean, I got this for about £18 on Amazon. It was really cheap, but it was top notch quality. A lot of Lapidus stuff is normally quite good. So, with this, this is sort of one of these ones where you know that you've sort of upped your game in the fragrance world because what, if you start to appreciate things like this you know that your taste sort of going up, you know you're raising up to be eventually be the connoisseur so this is one of these fragrances where you know you've stepped up your game so I fell in love with this at first spray, it's so unique and I'm going to have a hard time explaining this one to you guys I know this is where I really feel like a bit of a noob in the fragrance world is with things like this because I just find this really hard to explain and all that people talk about pineapple and stuff but yeah, this one's a really excellent fragrance and it's hard to talk about how good it is. So let's get started. Let's look at the bottle. As you can see here, you've got Lapidus here, Poor Rome. You've got uh, the sort of gold part here, black part here. The bottle just is a work of art. It just looks so 80s. Just look at it. It's something that's Scarface. You can just imagine a businessman having this sitting, you know, in his bathroom. You know, as he drives away in his S13. <laughs> but yeah, you've got Eau de Toilette. There you go, Ted Laptis Paris, 100 mils. You get Ted Laptis Paris engraved in the bottom. Nothing on the back, just a uh, you get a Ted Laptis TL logo on the top. Really, really nicely done bottle. Quite like it. And as you can see here, they've kept the same bottle for the Black Extreme. Just changed the the font. So I quite like the fact they've kept the bottle. Really was good. If it changed the bottle, it would sort of lose the vibe. They wouldn't be brothers, if you get me. So yeah, let's let's get started on this spray. This is actually a really really good spray. If you look here. Big, thick, heavy mist comes out really strong. And already I'm getting the Lapidus vibes right here. Quite alcoholy, but. So, again, really quite strong at the start. So, if you can bear that first 10 seconds, you know, you'll be fine. First 60 seconds, more like. But, yeah, I get that sort of pineapple vibe people talk about, you know, fruity. It's, it's kind of sweet. It's sweet, but kind of sour at the same time. It's weird. It is sweet and sort of fruity but spiky. Spiky, masculine, sweet, fruity. It's really unique. It's hard to describe. This is this this reminds me a bit of you know it's like honey tobacco -y. So it's, this reminds me a lot of Hugo Boss number one. Well when I say that's the Hugo Boss number one reminds me of this. And that's a sort of honey tobacco sort of combo. And it came out in nineteen eighty five, so that was two years. Nineteen eighty five, nineteen eighty four, I think it was nineteen eighty five. Even if it was about three, two to three years before this, so on, roughly you know mid to late eighties, same era, same time. So you can see what the top about, but basically this one is just I'm trying to fix my shirt here. But <laughs> this one's just fruity, sweet, but masculine and dark at the same time, spiky. And I've had like I just longevity and projection are outstanding with this. This is like take the strongest colognes I own, one million. Dupe, Angel Men, this tops all of those hands down. This blows them out of the water as far as projection. I easily get 12 hours with this. Six hours or more it's projection. Well, six hours that's heavy, decent projection. I can wake up the next morning in bed and I'll still be reeking of this stuff. But I love it. I love waking up to that. So really, this is squeezing the trigger. I'd say three sprays, chest, lower neck, back of neck, because um, this will fill a room. I mean, one day I was being ballsy and wore 15 sprays of it. And I was sitting on the train in the morning and everyone else is casually reading the paper. Meanwhile, I'm turning super sane. You know, everyone else is reading the paper and I'm like, that's super saiyajin! So, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know not you know not a mess with this one. Really good scent. So, yeah, really strong. This sounds weird, but also, this reminds me of being in Greece. I guess, I remember like, 
just the, the smells and everything so fresh. It reminds me a lot of being in holiday in Greece and all the food going by and stuff and, and olives and fruit and stuff and the smell of the flowers and everything. Really, really nice little memories, fond memories came back in the sniff this. The dry down's great, the dry down's fantastic, that's the best part. I mean, I like the intro as well. The dry down is godly, the dry down is. Again, I know I keep saying this, but I'm, I'm reviewing a lot of excellent colognes recently, and this is one of these masterpieces, really. This cologne knows what it's doing. Very high quality, top notch for this. Can't go wrong. So let's talk about where to wear it. Hmm. I wouldn't uh, see this for work. Wouldn't wear it for work. One spray, maybe a half a spray, you know, a wee pssst. Not even a full spray. For a date, if you're with someone who appreciates colognes, wear this again. One spray. Don't you don't want to bombard them with it. So yeah, one spray of this or half a spray, same as what for the date. If they only if they appreciate colognes, because this might not be appreciated for everyone. This is why the ones you buy for you. It's, like I said, this is when you know you're you're upping your game in fragrance you, because you're buying colognes for you. You're losing interest in the people pleasers like only the brave and dupe and one million, and you're going for more colognes that are more masculine and more complex and just more better better quality. And not everyone will like those. I mean, look at the most, like I've said, the most popular colognes are like Cool Water and Dupe, the ones that are simple and p- please people. This is it one of those so far. For work, I wouldn't really do it. Casual wear, however, this is perfect to me. If you like this cologne, it's for you. Like Even wearing this around the house, I often wear this around the house. Going out to McDonald's, and again, easy on the spray, you'll be fine. Well, sh- in, in your house, if you're lazing about your house, you want to smell good. Spray as many as you want. Fill the house, it's your house, you know? <laughs> I'm half expecting Lapidus, new car smell, poor Rome, you know, but <laughs> from Lapidus. But uh, I'd buy it. <laughs> but yeah, um, casually, I think this is perfect. I mean, this is really great. One of my favourite fragrances. I'm often reaching for this. I've never reached for a fragrance so much in my life, to be honest. I really, really like this. And uh, yeah, just fantastic cologne. I was so amazed with how good it was. I had my doubts about it um, at first, um, but it is really good. I highly recommend it. Everything, there's not a con about this. The only con I can say is it's too strong if you overuse it, but I don't see that as a con. Because you can, as long as you take care of my sprays you use, it can use it for anything. Perfect for winter at the moment. So yeah, that's Lapidus Pour Room, everyone, by Ted Lapidus. Absolute classic. If you can't, it's really cheap as well, so if you haven't got it, do get your hands on it. You won't be disappointed. It's a hell of a lot cheaper than a lot of the mainstream colognes out there, which are nowhere near as good quality and nowhere near as long lasting. So yeah guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll move on to the Bla- Laptis Black Extreme next, so I hope you uh, enjoy that one. And remember, any comments you have, any, anything you want to say, leave it in the comments please. Any questions you have, and you leave in the comments or personal message me. All the videos will be lab- uh, available in the big playlist, so you'll be able to get them easily on my site. Just click, um, click playlist, click for and like say Arsenal, I'll be listed there. Again, if you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more, please do subscribe. I appreciate the more subscribers I get. Thank you for everyone who has subscribed. It really keeps me going, doing my videos and stuff. I really like it when people give me feedback and enjoy them. And I like it when people say, oh, I watched your video and I went and bought this, because it knows that the, the, the videos helped them. So I hope this video did help. Apologies for my lack of sort of description. It was a very hard uh, scent to describe. But um, I'll try and um, do a better job later on, maybe change uh, in the description, write a bit more info, so I'll see. But in the description you can find a link to my blog, and the song I use in the intro will also be available in the description. So yeah guys, that's Ted Laftis Poor Rome. Thank you for watching this video. Keep on staying fly.